It says we're live. Watch Thursday Live. It came right up on my phone. All right. And you're seeing the uh, the little Ventura YouTube tile there. Hi, everybody. The old picture of us. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. We're having some technical difficulties. We're wondering if you can see us and if you can hear us. Uh, well, it's same excellent condition now, so. not on uh can you see us can you hear us see you hear you yes, yes. it won't let me go live on facebook though because it's not enough uh bit rate but i'll try re refreshing it there all right <laughs> we're here in uh, ventura california at uh Ventura Terrace, and we just want to give them a shout out. Um, our dear friends, uh, Tren and Lori and Bella and Gigi live here, but the apartments have allowed us to be in this uh, common space and like take over, and they're incredibly nice about it. So um, everyone can see and hear us on YouTube. Rich is having an issue getting the stream to go on Facebook. Yeah, it's telling me uh, on Facebook it's too low of a uh, bitrate to, uh, to even start the stream. All right, I'm just going to put up a post on Facebook to tell everybody to come over to YouTube. Um, copy. I'm just going to say Facebook isn't working. Come to YouTube. All right, let's see. <laughs> we'll get everybody over here. Hopefully people see that. Okay. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Who's watching on there? Who have we got? We've got Melanie Farron, Jojo from Connecticut, Guy and New are on in DC. That's, I think, my sister Kelly in South Carolina, Mike and Patty Hammond, um, and the Seidel's. Oh my God, it's going so fast. Uh, Crystal, hi Crystal. Uh, Christine, Shannon, Lynn, Chasinos, Chad, Scott. Hi everybody. Hi everybody, welcome. Okay, people are on. So the stream seems to be Woo! fluctuating between excellent and poor. <laughs> Let's hope it's be more excellent than poor. So if I make a mistake, blame the stream. It is definitely not the me. stream. Uh, apparently it's so poor, Facebook won't even allow it. First time Facebook has ever been discriminating. Hopefully, <laughs> those of you who normally watch on Facebook have made your way over here to YouTube to join us. We are here in Ventura, California with a live studio audience. A Woo! studio audience that is in the all right. All right, we got a bunch of requests. Ooh. Uh, Bonnie Farron wants to know how much we love California. We love California. We, we love California. We've turned out here maybe 12, 15 times, somewhere on there, and we always love it. Yes. It's always super fun. True story. And quite sunny, although it's just dark on the East Coast right now. I'll tell you, this is a good looking studio audience too here in California. It's true what they say. <laughs> People are better looking in California. You might see them later. We'll see if we can get them on camera. <coughs> All right, so uh, we had a bunch of requests. About eight or nine of these are from my mother. She texted me this morning with her list of requests. My mom is on. Hi, mom. Is your mom on? Hi, know. mom. We're not sure if mom's on. I'm just gonna see if we can pop it on Facebook one more time, oh, and then I'm gonna give up on that because you know how I am. Oh, boy. It says action needed. And it will not let us on. Okay. All I right. put up a post right. with the link and told everyone to come here. Thanks for nothing, Zuckerberg. Um, <laughs> so we're going to start out with, uh, this was a request, I think, from some of our studio audience and also from my mom. It's a song called Astronauts. Send this out to all the space nerds. 
that are out there. Where are you all watching from? Tell us, uh, put up your comments about where you're tuning in from. It's 5 p.m. here in Ventura, California. You can see the bright sunlight. So we haven't been able to look at the stars yet tonight. But the night is young, maybe later. All right, this one's called Astronauts. studio audience not to clap too loud, but it's always good to clap at the end. There's a question from Sherry, Sherry Sanchez right. from right. Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yes. Rich, where did you get that perfect t-shirt? Oh, nice. <laughs> I got this from uh, the Semrads who live in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes. It's, uh, it's a company based in Albuquerque. Uh, it's called the uh, Mobius, Mobius Theory. Theory. And they have a bunch of really cool shirts with this cool little cat. For all the cat lovers, including our studio audience, we yes. could not do the stream live from their apartment because of their cat, Chochi! Chochi! <laughs> Who is cute as the Dickens, but I am very allergic. So we had to come here uh, to the common space. And a few people said they liked your earrings. Melanie's earrings. Thank we you. got the little uh, yellow ensemble. We're trying to match. Yes. We've got the yellow and the uh, cat print. You see? So. Okay. So how's the uh, the stream is okay on uh, on the YouTube? Looks like we have some spam there. It's gonna happen. Somebody there. wrote yeah. the letter F thirty seven times. Yes. That's helpful. That happens. Perfect. I have it self moderating to weed out the riffraff. Oh boy. Rick Bowen's on. Rick, we're gonna see you in a week or two, I think. Hello, Rick. Yeah. For those of you that don't know Rick, you should uh, you should check out 
some of his music. He's in Everett. Stacey Jones band, baby. plays with the Stacy Jones Blues Band. They are fantastic. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, we had a request for this one uh, for my mom and also from uh, Lori and Trent in our studio audience. It's a song of ours that is called Seven Seas. And uh, my mom, <laughs> my mom messaged me and wanted me to tell you all um, if you didn't hear this announcement, uh, we have a local uh, awards ceremony. It's like the New York Regional uh, Grammy Awards. Like they call them the Eddies because of Thomas Edison. He spent quite a bit of time in Schenectady in the Capital District. And we so there. we are nominated for two Eddie Awards this year. Uh, Rock Pop Artist of the Year. And also this song, Seven Seas, is nominated for song of the year or i'm sorry record of the year, record of the year. Um, which we are incredibly excited about um yeah so this one's called seven seeds Keep going before we blow back again. 
We love and miss you guys too. We love and miss you too. What is, what is the complex called? Thank you, Ventura Terrace! <laughs> yes, if you just joined in for our technical difficulties in the beginning, uh, you might have missed that we gave the Ventura Terrace a big shout out because they have let us take over their whole common space here uh, to do this live stream. Thank you very much. We appreciate it very Thank much. You. Thank you. All right. All right. So we hope everybody from Facebook has made their way over to YouTube because Facebook wasn't letting us uh, stream for some reason. We'll look into that for next time. Um, no, Jesse Ventura is not there, Brian, but thank you for asking. All right, we've got a member of our studio Who's audience. asking for Jesse Ventura? Zalaka? Zalaka, of course. A member of our studio audience, requested this song. It's called Goner. Some of you might be new. You might not know all the names of the songs. Some of you know all the words to every song. But this one, Goner, is a song about trying to convince yourself not to fall in love with somebody because you know they are a terrible idea but you can't help it. Oh, I hate your face. It makes me sweet. And why must you light up every room? Cause I can't stand the way you make me come.
Melody on the vocals. Thank you very much. I almost remembered that whole bridge that time. Almost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're going to slow things down for one. All right. Just really for the sake of my thighs, if anything else. You are <laughs> slapping those thighs Woo! like crazy. I'm giving them a workout. I didn't do anything halfway, people. That's the way to live this life. Ooh. You know who taught me that? Mr. Jesse Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> what, is it? what was his wrestler move? He, he was a wrestler, right? I don't know. What was his big move? Did Does he anybody move? know Jesse Ventura's wrestler move? Like uh, Jimmy yeah, Fly but... had the snooker, and uh, what was that? Uh, How do you snooker. know these Nobody things? Knows. What? I was the 13-year-old boy once. Brother. Listen, people, do you know that we personally met Mr. Hulk Hogan. We did, brother. We met Mr. Hulk Hogan, I think it might have been in the year 2000. Or about at least 20 years ago. It was a long yeah. time ago when we first started out. We were doing an event with about five or six other artists in Albany, New York. And it was a fundraiser for the Children's Hospital. And Hulk Hogan's daughter, Brooke Rock. Hogan had a musical career and she was touring around and he would go up on stage and tell all of the men not to look at her <laughs> or he would beat them up. So one of the most surreal uh, experiences yeah. of, of my life though was uh, the event organizer came over to us when we got on site and said, we have a tent set up just for the artists. You guys can go in there. There's some catering and stuff back there. And so we went, uh, you know, broad daylight, but went into this dark tent. And the only person in the tent at the time was Hulk Hogan, yeah. sitting on a chair, eating a hot dog. In his, no, but in his full oh, yeah, yeah. yellow. Yeah, yeah. I don't think he owns any other clothes. Wrestling jumpsuit, yeah, yeah. like fully clothed. Some people are saying, Hulk rules. Yeah, okay. And when we went back there, you know, he looked up and he said, you know, hello brother. <laughs> he said, Hi. Somebody, so Guy Sanders said he was called Jesse the Bod. Jesse the Bod Ventura. So right. I don't know, he must have been known for his physique. Right. Well, I mean, there are wrestlers. Or did he do a move? The, uh, I don't know. Did a move called the Bod? We're going to have to figure this gonna out. We're going to look it because, up later. We're going to look it up. We're going <laughs> to, before the next live stream, we're going to make it a personal goal to learn more about professional wrestling. <laughs> Probably not. All right, so. Uh, We're gonna send a song out to Hulk Hogan who had golden locks. No. No? <laughs> See, he had golden hair. We had some requests from the studio audience for this and also my mom who's watching from home with Moxie the dog. And uh, actually a lot of you probably wanna hear this because we always get requests for this. Um, all right, this one's called Gold. Suppose I'm sorry it doesn't mend me. I made a mess of everything you give me. And it'd be fair if you just walked away. But you should know it's better than before. I'm the one for legends and trying harder than I say. So don't say too late to save us now. Cause all
Hulk, that. Hulk, damn, that was good. Hulk, damn. Um, uh, love the song and the. <laughs> Anna Amato said, "I love the song and the wrestling education." You're welcome, man. It's we consider it a public service. Um, oh yeah, Jesse Ventura was the governor of Minnesota, right? He was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There you go. Which is insane. Um, <laughs> now I'm gonna think of professional wrestling when I hear gold. I'm sorry, Steve. I hope that's not true. Stormy, we don't need that. No one needs that. Um, shout out to Stormy and Sunny um, in Virginia. Um, do you guys have a? Is the Hulk Dam a drinking event? Probably. It should Hulk be. Hulk Dam. Mark, it should, it should be. be. It should be. Uh, hi, Amber. How you doing? Do um, you guys have requests out there? I saw a request fly by for American Soda. Okay. I don't have my melodica, but we could do it. What okay. do you think? Sure. Studio audience, what do you think? American Soda? Yeah. Yay or nay? Yay. 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 It's a yay back here. <laughs> I saw Amber requested that. I'm going to use a different shaker for this one. Listen, I just want you guys to know that we're bringing you the best here. This is uh, Equate Ibuprofen, which has this kind of a sound. Okay? Hi. Well, this is a brand name. Brand name Midol, right here. You ready for this? Midol. Ooh, it's got a much nice. Of Huh? It sounds more like a kielbasa. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I think M for Mary can set up. We should do it. <laughs> do this one. I'm not gonna mention who in the studio audience donated this one. Just gonna say thank you. Ah, it was a trend. It was a trend.
something. I'll tell you what, that makes a hell of a shaker. Mm -hmm. That was good. That was good. Thank you for the uh, assist there, studio audience. For In case anyone out there was feeling bloated, that might all help with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is anybody on here watching a uh, live stream for the first time? We did make a lot of new, uh, new fans uh, recently on this tour. Uh, Mary Kinsetta, that song, it was the name of my grandma, for those of you that don't know. Mary Kinsetta, she was a little Italian lady who liked to feed the people the food. <laughs> and... Uh, she and I spent a lot of time together, and there's a line in there, uh, the beginning, some flour, some sugar, some kind of magic show. She used to be in the kitchen cooking whenever you would walk in. She would have something going, no recipe, no one knows how to make anything that she made. Because um, she just, I asked her one day, how much flour do you put in that? She goes, meh. You just feel it. Meh. So I, I can't do that. That's not one of my talents. Rich is the cook in the family. <laughs> I don't think it's the recipe following that's a problem with your cooking. <laughs> I think it's the stress level. I don't know. Melanie gets very stressed when she's cooking. cooking. Gene. I don't have a cooking gene. So, um, but yeah, my grandmother was a wonderful cook and she used to always have music blasting in her little radio on the table when you would come in. Usually, like some oldies, jazz, old jazz. One day I remember coming there after school and. Bon Jovi was on, going loud on the radio, and my grandma was there flinging the flower around, and I said, She loved John Bon Jovi. I was like, what's going on, Graham? What are you listening to? And she said the station had changed formats, and she didn't know how to switch it, but she was just going with it, so. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Do we have other requests out there, people? Poor stream. Poor stream status. We do? That's yeah, Hopefully good. it just bounces back, though. Nobody knows, though. Um. Cooking for people can be stressful. <laughs> we had a request for uh, lamp fly. I saw come through there. I saw one for rain. No, let's not do lamp fly. Why not? I thought we were going to do... Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I would rather just do the little heart. Okay. Yeah. We back to excellent status. I saw we had oh we have some Wi-Fi dropouts. I see I see it coming and going. Okay. I don't know why that is. Mercury. Mercury. A couple requests for Mercury. Well, what do you want to do? Yeah, we can do Mercury and uh, let's do the little heart. I just put the capo on. Just do the little heart. Let's just do the little heart. <laughs> we had a couple requests for this one earlier. Just do the little heart, which is a song that we wrote about my dad and. Uh, it's a sad one, prepare yourselves. Uh, for those of you that don't know the story, my dad has dementia and um, we wrote this song about trying to process that emotion. He hasn't known who I am or who any of us are really for the last four years or so. And it's a weird sensation um, because he's there physically but not always in the same room with us mentally. Um, but we had this moment during a concert at his place recently where we did a, a song and he saw us and we were all in the same space and time for just a short little moment. He was there with us and he knew who we were and it was really quite beautiful. Um, so this one is called Stupid Little Heart. It's not released yet. Um, a couple of people had emailed me recently and asked why Stupid Little Heart? Um, because, you know, as much as I intellectually know that he's not going to know who I am when I come, every single time my stupid little heart maybe hopes for a moment and then gets broken. <laughs> so, um, anyway, this one's called Stupid Little Heart. It's for my dad. This punishment does 
promise to keep the better days Swim across the creek in your sweet pancakes And those songs you play by heart And some days a song lights up your eyes It's like we see each other from time to time So I sing with all stream is asking for tissues. <clears throat> We're back up to stream is healthy and excellent. All right. Woo! Well, it's good when you have a good stream at my age. Excellent guitar work, Rich. I agree, Scott. Thank you very much. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. But <laughs> this performance is missing. It's the guy who's going to ask Mel to wrestle. Um, <laughs> That happened, actually, recently. This guy came up to me, and he said, <laughs> What? I swear to God this happened. Just the other day. Lori's a witness. Uh, a guy came up to me, and he said, You have a great voice, and you're an amazing drummer, drummer and I would really like to wrestle you, but I'm not going to. And then he turned around. <laughs> All right. That's the first time I've ever heard that. And I've been doing this for a really long time. So, um, Christy, yeah, that's a, that's a funny memory. Christy was there for that show. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing like a good stream. Don't we know it, Jim? It's tough for you guys as you get older. Come on now. All right. We had a couple uh, requests for Mercury. Mercury. Like two or three people right. in a row right. asked for Mercury. All right. <coughs> maybe we'll get our studio audience to help us on the ooze. I think so, maybe. You guys are feeling frisky? Yeah. <laughs> they don't look, this is what I just got. Yeah, okay, sure, maybe. <laughs> Sing with your inside voice. <laughs> so there's a part, people at home, and those of you that are new. Mercury, there's a part where I go, ooh, 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 in the chorus. Everybody try it. Ooh, ooh. It's nice, see? And then the other part I go, ooh, 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 ooh. You got yeah. it. You got it. This is going to be good. Okay, here right. we go. You count me off, kid. One, two, three. Wait. 
We also have our 2024 uh, sponsorship program happening for our tour. Uh, I had the link in the Facebook uh, uh, version of this uh, live stream, but that never happened. So, but if you go to Cersei.com, it'll, it'll tell you what that is there. You can get some sweet swag. A Rebecca lot of the folks was, uh, watching right now are sponsors. They are. A lot of the folks are. Rebecca was requesting that Lori make an, an appearance. That might happen. That, that might happen. We're trying to convince them I to join this, us at the end of a song. In we'll this song, I, in this next song, that might happen. We'll see if it happens. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. She's got a very nice uh, compliment coming through for um, her stupid little heart. And then uh, someone else said, shake that right off. Shake that right off. <laughs> off. <laughs> if this doesn't get used in a might all commercial, I don't know what will. Shake that might <laughs> off. Um... <coughs> I'm new here. You guys are great. Welcome, Michelle Jacobs. Michelle okay. is new. Welcome, babe. Where is our next spot? We're going to be in California for a few weeks. Our next spot is uh, Fresno. Fresno on Friday. And then um, uh, Paso Robles. Paso. Sorry, Paso Robles. That's how the locals. On Saturday. That's how the locals say it incorrectly. Right. Uh, and then we'll be in Hollister on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Has some guest singers in Hollister joining us. Yeah. And uh, a Ooh, guest Galaxy bass Heather there. is there right we now. We have a, gaze, a guest uh, bass player, too. We do. Guest bass player. The Dave will be playing the bass with us. Uh -huh. The Dave playing the bass. Be fun. He's on here, right? Is our Dave and yeah. Connie on here? And so Heather and Bob are on Heather here and Bob. as well. We'll see those guys. I think Connie's going to sing with us, too. Yep. Right. Yep. yep. Uh, Kevin of the Reichenbachs are on. Hello, guys. Oh, you guys are so nice. They're all welcoming Michelle to the family. <laughs> that is nice. Why don't you tell Michelle about Hell No? All right. Yeah. This is a song called Hell No! <laughs> you almost missed it. I almost missed it. You almost missed it. I almost missed it. Hot damn. <laughs> I missed my cue. I said, this is a song called Hell No! This one goes out to anybody out there who beats themselves up. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to Trent and Lori for helping us troubleshoot all the things that were going on in here. Uh, Trent did set design. Look, you think these? Do you think these plants ended up here by accident? They don't just happen. This stuff doesn't just happen. Okay? I feel like I feel like somebody planted these here. <laughs> 
And then Lori, Lori, God bless you, babe. She helped me with the lighting. She helped me with makeup, all of it. So, you know, just give it up for those two. Um, and of course, the donation of this. I'm not going to say who did. But anyway, all right. This one is called Hell No, and it is a song about beating yourself up, which we all do, I know. Um, it's a song about trying to find a way to be kinder to ourselves because sometimes we say things to ourselves up here that we would never say to anybody else. I know. And it's easier said than done. But we're going to start here on this live stream in Ventura, California. Because the next time you start to beat yourself up, what are you going to say to yourself? Hello! Hello. <laughs> I said, what are you going to say to yourself? Studio. That was our studio audience. Live studio audience. Thanks for uh, having us invade your space, you guys. We appreciate it. <laughs> so, thank you, <laughs> backup dancer. It's awesome. Uh, party. <laughs> <laughs> My heart is happy. Rebecca. That's what Rebecca said. Aww. Hot damn. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do one more song. Thank you all so much for being here with us. We appreciate it. Um, as is tradition, we always end a show with this song. It's called Brave and Kind. It's the way that Rich and I try to live our lives. 
We often fail, but we try every day, just like all of you, being imperfect little creatures called human beings. We try every day to do our best to be brave and kind. And uh, as some of you out there might need this more than others today. I hope that you will all sing with us at the end. We love you all so much. Take care of each other. This song is for you.
much. Thank you to our beautiful studio audience for joining us. Thank you all out there for joining us and taking your free time to be with us tonight. We appreciate you all so very much. And thank you guys so much. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you guys so very much. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Let's see if I can figure out how to shut this off now. We'll try to do another one of these uh, somewhere up the coast. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. As we promised, one of our New Year's resolutions was to do more live streams throughout the year. So we promise to keep on this. Thank you all so much. We're sorry about the lack of the Facebook shenanigans. <laughs> Live long and prosper, beautiful people.